Last time I added physics simulations so that Scarfy can walk on the terrain instead of through it. So today I want to add music because music can really set the right atmosphere, making you feel anything from being up in heaven to having the devil breathing down your back. So the first step is to get some music. Now the easiest way would be to go to a royalty free music library and to find something you like, but there's a problem. So here's the problem. You go to a royalty free music library, you find some music you like or that, that suits your game. You pay for the right to use it. You use it in a video, upload it to YouTube, and then you get a copyright strike or copyright claim thanks to their content ID system. Uh, basically the, the, the musician has registered for content ID because they have their own copyright and your video has been flagged for music that you paid the right to use. And then you have to go in and you have to kind of do a counterclaim to say, hey, look, here, here's the evidence that I have the right to use this music. And from there, it's completely up to the company managing that content ID to check your claim and then say, yeah, yeah, this person's allowed to use the music. And I still have in my YouTube account a video with a copyright claim on it. It's not affecting my channel in any way, but there's a copyright claim on it for music that I paid the right for the right to use. So I have the legitimate right to use it. If I sound a little bit annoyed, I am because it's very annoying to be told you're violating copyright when you've paid for the right to use the music. Now, things have gotten better. A lot of the music libraries will allow you to enter your YouTube content ID so that you can be filtered out. So you just don't get the claim anymore. But when you're choosing music for a game, when it comes to, to marketing your game, you really want game streamers to play your game so that other people see it, learn about it, and hopefully go and buy it. And these game streamers, they earn money off their channel. And if they get a copyright strike or copyright claim, that video, at minimum, that video can be demonetized. They don't earn any money off it. Now that money, earning money off their channel allows them to do game streaming full time. Otherwise they'd have to go off and get a, another job to, uh, to pay the bills. So for them, it's really annoying to stream a game and then get hit with a copyright strike. So while you can use uh, royalty free music, best avoid it, unless you can find royalty free music that is also content ID free. It, they, it does exist, so it's a bit hard to find them. What are the alternatives? Well, if you've got the money, you can hire a composer or a, a musician to create music for you. Me, I'd love to hire a composer in a full on symphony orchestra, just don't have the money for it. Or if you've got the talent, then you can create the music yourself. Now this is where it gets rather challenging for me because this is not a recording studio. This is the only microphone I have. My violin is thousands of miles away. I don't have a piano here or a keyboard. All I've really got are my child's maracas recorder and I guess this box. But sometimes you just got to work with what you've got. Okay, that's good enough. So time to master it. And now convert it to MP3 using Lame. It's a shame that the name is very lame, but it's actually a good MP3 encoder, which is why I use it. Now let's copy it across to the laptop and get it into Scarfy. Playing music with Raylib is easy. There's just a handful of functions you need to use, which you'll find in the cheat sheet under music management functions. So first up, you've got to load in the music file with surprise, surprise, load music stream. Next, it might be a good idea to set the volume with set music volume, and then you start it playing with play music stream. And the only other thing you need to do is to call update music stream every cycle of the game loop to keep it streaming. 
And of course, at the end, once you want to stop playing, there's a stop music stream and you can unload the music again with unload music stream. So if we switch to the Scarfy source code, I've already set this up from the main menu. Three lines, load in the music, set the volume and play. It's that easy. And then when it comes time to end, end the music stream, then we just delete it. I'm using the, the rail of C++ wrapper here. And then if we go over to the scene class, you'll see in the update method that gets called every loop. If the music is playing, we call the update method. And that's it. So right now I'm just going to copy and paste this over to the Scarfy scene, which is the actual game. So let's put it down, down the bottom. Well, last thing we'll do is load in the music here. Put in the name of the music. And then we want to also unload the music at the end when we're done. So let's go to do that now. I'll just copy and paste it. And that should be everything done. So let's build it and run it. And there you go, we have music all done. Now, it is a little bit on the rough side. After all, I did have to reteach myself the recorder at short notice after basically not touching it since the age of 10. But hey, it's good enough. Uh, it's all working nicely. So that's it for today. I will see you next time. Hmm, this music is making me feel like I want to collect coins or gems and stomp on animals that are trying to kill me. After all, if platform games taught me anything, that's what you do in the woods, right? didn't make it. Hey, why are you still watching? It's time to go outside and smell the roses or the diesel fumes. It's your choice. <laughs>